Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess and I got a request to show you guys all the paints I use. So I'm not showing you how I use them, just because that changes with every doll. And I don't really have a set technique, everything is different depending on the doll. But um, here are the colors that I have, but I'll kind of give you an idea of what I use them for. Mars Black is only for hair. Um, occasionally I'll add it to the crease color if I'm trying to darken it up. And I also have Burnt Ombre which um, I use to warm up the doll's coloring, but I find that I prefer brow brown to burnt ombre because it has a more um, golden color that I really like. And then I have, this is Genesis Red, the label's not there, but um, Genesis Red is used for a bunch of things, mottling, blushing, but I mix all my colors. I don't, I don't think there's any layer that I use just plain red for. And then this one I haven't even used yet, but it's on the Precious Little Baby Dust DVD, and I've been mixing this color for the longest time, and I just figured I might as well um, save paint by getting the color. And this is Quinacridone Magenta 08, and I use it for my, uh, I think, third mottling layer. Three out of, like, the 12 that I do. And, um... Uh, yeah, you didn't think my babies had that many layers of mottling. Because they are very fair skin, but they're all very thin layers of mottling. Okay, and I also have ultramarine blue, which I occasionally mix in for my vein color, but most of the time I just use the lotto blue. But um, I mostly use this to add to my Genesis Red to get more of a magenta and to do my undertones. Then I use Thalo Blue of 5 to mix a more yellowy green when I don't want to use my normal green, which is right there. Um, and I also use it for veining. And Thalo Green 03 I use for neutralizing. It's a very green green, not something that I could mix very well, so I wanted to get that color. <coughs> and then I have... And then I have Bismuth Yellow 07. Um, when I want a more yellowy green, I will add this to the Thalo Blue, like I mentioned. And I also use combinations of this and yellow ochre for yellowing on the nose and under the eyes and on the little chin. And I also use it to brighten up the color of the dolls occasionally. Flesh 08, kind of self-explanatory. I use it for the flesh color and I also mix it in with a few other colors to make milk spots. And then titanium white. I use to lighten up colors. I do one mottling layer that is Genesis Red with a little bit of titanium white, which gives you a very, very bright pink. Um, I love it. I also use it for milk spots <clears throat> and uh, just to lighten colors. And then this is not labeled, but it's Pyrrole Red. And I use it for blushing if I don't feel like mixing it. It's a very deep red, much deeper than Genesis Red. And this is probably my favorite color right now. I wish it had a label because, oh, it's got a label on the top. <laughs> Diax purple. Um, the first num, I mean, the first word is really long, but it starts with Diax. And um, Diax purple O2, which is a very, very, very bright purple. I love it. I start out the lips with that color. I do the insides of the eyes with, I mean, the insides of the ears with that color. I do the eyes with that color. Um, I go over the feet and the hands. I use it a lot. And then yellow ochre is my favorite color for the yellow undertones. Which is like orangey yellow. And then here are mostly the colors that I use for um, eyebrows. I have brow brown and brow blonde. And then here I have an earth mint, which I, is just only there because it doesn't really have any other place to be. <laughs> and um, I use that for neutralizing. And then, over here, I have a thick medium, which I only use for scratches, milk spots, and something else that I can't think of. Freckles. And then the thinning medium, I use that for veins, creases, and eyebrows. And the air dry gloss varnish, that's kind of self-explanatory, any place that needs to be glossed. So like the eyes, the nose, the mouth and the nails. And then I have my matte varnish, which I do in any layer that is all over, but that doesn't include like mottling because that's like circly and, or 
you know, if you're using a sponge, it's very modely. Any layer that goes all over, I'll add a little bit of matte varnish, but you mostly need that at the very end. And so yeah, those are my paints. And then I also have a nail pen. I like my nail pen. It gives you a perfect little line, and I like how the line kind of dies down. Um, not like in a bad way, like it looks really white at first, but you can see in the dolls that I've had for like a month or more, it's a very realistic, subtle, manicured line. So yeah, those are all my paints. And my studio, the camera's not focusing, but um, my studio is mostly put together right now. Got babies over there. Why is this fuzzy? And then there's Blair. And Lyra. Anyway, sorry it's fuzzy, guys. Love you guys. Bye.